About Sylvester Gardenzio Stallone is an American actor and filmmaker. He has received numerous accolades, including a Golden Globe Award and a Critics' Choice Award, as well as nominations for three Academy Awards and two BAFTA Awards. Wikipedia Born, July 6, 1946, age 77 years, Hell's Kitchen, New York, United States. Spouse, Jennifer Flavin, M. 1997, Bridget Nielsen, M. 1985-1987, Sasha Zak, M. 1974-1985. Children, Sage Stallone, Sergio Stallone, Sistine Stallone, Scarlett Rose Stallone, Sophia Rose Stallone. Height, 1.77 meters. Parents, Jackie Stallone, Frank Stallone Sr. Sylvester Stallone is an athletically built, dark-haired American actor-slash-screenwriter-slash-director-slash-producer. The movie fans worldwide have been flocking to see Stallone's films for over 40 years, making Sly one of Hollywood's biggest-ever box office draws. Sylvester Stallone was born on July 6, 1946, in New York's Gritty Hell's Kitchen, to Jackie Stallone, née Labofish, an astrologer, and Frank Stallone, a beautician and hairdresser. His father was an Italian immigrant, and his mother's heritage is half French, from Brittany, and half German. The young Stallone attended the American College of Switzerland and the University of Miami, eventually obtaining a BA degree. Initially, he struggled in small parts in films such as The Softcore The Party at Kitty and Studs, 1970, The Thriller Clute, 1971, and The Comedy Bananas, 1971. He got a crucial career break alongside fellow young actor Henry Winkler, sharing lead billing in the effectively written teen gang film The Lords of Flatbush, 1974. Further film and television roles followed, most of them in uninspiring productions except for the opportunity to play a megalomaniac, bloodthirsty race driver named Machine Gun Joe Viterbo in the Roger Corman-produced Death Race 2000, 1975. However, Stallone was also keen to be recognized as a screenwriter, not just an actor, and, inspired by the 1975 Muhammad Ali Chuck Wepner fight in Cleveland, Stallone wrote a film script about a nobody fighter given the million-to-one opportunity to challenge for the heavyweight title. Rocky, 1976, became the stuff of cinematic legends, scoring ten Academy Award nominations winning the Best Picture Award of 1976 and triggering one of the most financially successful movie series in history. Whilst full credit is wholly deserved by Stallone, he was duly supported by tremendous acting from fellow cast members Talia Shire, Burgess Meredith, and Burt Young, and director John G. Avelson gave the film an emotive. Earthy appeal from start to finish Stallone had truly arrived on his terms, and offers poured in from various studios eager to secure Hollywood's hottest new star. Stallone followed Rocky, 1976, with FIST, 1978, loosely based on the life of Teamsters boss Jimmy Hoffa, and Paradise Alley, 1978, before pulling on the boxing gloves again to resurrect Rocky Balboa in the sequel Rocky II, 1979. The second outing for the Italian Stallion wasn't as powerful or successful as the first Rocky, however, it still produced strong box office. Subsequent films Nighthawks, 1981, and Victory, 1981, failed to ignite with audiences, so Stallone was once again lured back to familiar territory with Rocky III, 1982, and a fearsome opponent in Clubber Lang, played by muscular ex-bodyguard Mr. T. The third Rocky installment far outperformed the first sequel in box office takings, but Stallone retired his prizefighter for a couple of years as another series was about to commence for the busy actor. The character of Green Beret John Rambo was the creation of Canadian-born writer David Morrell, and his novel was adapted to the screen with Stallone in the lead role in First Blood, 1982, also starring Richard Crenna and Brian Dennehy. The movie was a surprise hit that polarized audiences because of its commentary about the Vietnam War, which was still relatively fresh in the American public psyche. Political viewpoints aside, the film was a worldwide smash, and a sequel soon followed with Rambo, First Blood Part II, 1985, which drew even stronger criticism from several quarters owing to the film's plot line about American MIAs allegedly being held in Vietnam. 
but they say there is no such thing as bad publicity, and John Rambo's second adventure was a major money spinner for Stallone and cemented him as one of the top male stars of the 1980s. Riding a wave of amazing popularity, Stallone called on old sparring partner Rocky Balboa to climb back into the ring to defend American pride against a Soviet threat in the form of a towering Russian boxer named Ivan Drago, played by Kurt Dolph Lundgren in Rocky IV, 1985. The fourth outing was somewhat controversial with Rocky fans, as violence levels seemed excessive compared to previous Rocky films, especially with the savage beating suffered by Apollo Creed, played by Carl Weathers, at the hands of the unstoppable Siberian Express. Stallone continued forward with a slew of macho character-themed films that met with a mixed reception from his fans. Cobra, 1986, was a clumsy mess, Over the Top, 1987, was equally mediocre, Rambo 3, 1988, saw Rambo take on the Russians in Afghanistan, and cop buddy film Tango and Cash, 1989, just did not quite hit the mark, although it did feature a top-notch cast and there was chemistry between Stallone and co-star Kurt Russell. Philadelphia's favorite mythical boxer moved out of the shadows for his fifth screen outing in Rocky V. 1990, tackling Tommy Machine Gun played by real-life heavyweight fighter Tommy Morrison, the great-nephew of screen legend John Wayne. Sly quickly followed with the lukewarm comedy Oscar, 1991, the painfully unfunny stop. Or My Mom Will Shoot, 1992, the futuristic action film Demolition Man, 1993, and the comic book-inspired Judge Dredd, 1995. Interestingly, Stallone then took a departure from the gung-ho steely characters he had been portraying to stack on a few extra pounds and tackle a more dramatically challenging role in the intriguing Copland, 1997, also starring Robert De Niro and Ray Liotta. It isn't a classic of the genre, but Copland, 1997, certainly surprised many critics with Stallone's understated performance. Stallone then lent his vocal talents to the animated adventure story Ants, 1998, reprised the role made famous by Michael Caine in a terrible remake of Get Carter, 2000, climbed back into a race car for Driven, 2001, and guest starred as the toymaker in the third chapter of the immensely popular Spy Kids film series, Spy Kids 3, Game Over, 2003. Showing that age had not wearied his two most popular series, Stallone has most recently brought back Never Say Die boxer Rocky Balboa to star in, well, what else but Rocky Balboa? 2006, and Vietnam veteran Rambo, 2008, will reappear after a 20-year hiatus to once again right wrongs in the jungles of Thailand. Love him or loathe him, Sylvester Stallone has built an enviable and highly respected career in Hollywood, plus, he has considerably influenced modern popular culture through several of his iconic film characters. IMDb Mini Biography by Firehouse44 at Hotmail.com needs to learn the correct use of semicolons. Family Spouses Jennifer Flavin, May 17, 1997, present, three children. Bridget Nielsen, December 15, 1985, to July 13, 1987, divorced. Sasha Stallone, December 28, 1974, to February 14, 1985, divorced, two children. Children Sage Stallone. Sophia Rose Stallone. Sergio Stallone. Sistine Rose Stallone. Scarlett Rose Stallone. Parents. Jackie Stallone. Frank Stallone. Relatives. Tony Dalto, half sibling. Frank Stallone, sibling. Paul Dion Monti, cousin. Trademarks. Deep resonant voice and mumbling. Very muscular physique, roles as John Rambo and Rocky Balboa. Crooked mouth. Trivia. Expelled from 14 schools for antisocial and violent behavior before he was age 13. Birth complications, caused by forceps, resulted in paralysis of the lower left side of his face, manifested by a perennial snarl and slurred speech. The Expendables, 2010 opened at number one at the U.S. box office, with a first weekend gross of $35 million. This makes Sylvester Stallone the only person in Hollywood history to have starred in films that have opened atop the box office charts over five consecutive decades. Dislikes his first name, usually referred to as Sly.
Stallone claims to have been able to bench press 385 to 400 pounds, 174.6 to 181.4 kilograms, and squat 500 pounds, 226.8 kilograms, in his prime. While in a bench pressing contest with former Mr. Olympia Franco Columbio, he severely tore his pectoral muscle and needed over 160 stitches on it. This is why one half of his chest is more veiny than the other. Quotes Once in one's life, for one mortal moment, one must make a grab for immortality, if not, one has not lived. That's what Rocky, 1976, is all about, pride, reputation, and not being another bum in the neighborhood. I'm not handsome in the classical sense. The eyes droop, the mouth is crooked, the teeth aren't straight, the voice sounds like a mafioso pallbearer, but somehow it all works. Explaining to the New York Times how he wrote the script for Rocky, 1976, in three days, I'm astounded by people who take 18 years to write something. That's how long it took that guy, Gustave Flaubert, to write Madame Bovary. And was that ever on the bestseller list? No. It was a lousy book and it made a lousy movie. In 1976, after completing production on Rocky II, 1979, but there'll never be a Rocky IV. You gotta call a halt. Salaries. The Expendables 3, 2014, $15 million. Escape Plan, 2013, $10 million. Bullet to the Head, 2013, $12 million. The Expendables 2, 2012, $15 million. ICU, 2002, $20 million. Driven, 2001, $20 million. Copland, 1997, $60,000. Daylight, 1996, $17,500,000. Assassins, 1995, $15 million. Judge Dredd, 1995, $15 million. The Specialist, 1994, $12 million. Demolition Man, 1993, $15 million. Cliffhanger, 1993, $15 million. Oscar, 1991, $15 million. Rocky V, 1990, $15 million. Tango and Cash, 1989, $15 million. Lock Up, 1989, $15 million. Rambo III, 1988, $16 million. Over the Top, 1987, $13 million. Cobra, 1986, $13 million. Rocky IV, 1985, $12 million. Rhinestone, 1984, $4 million. Staying Alive, 1983, $10 million. First Blood, 1982, $3,500,000. Rocky III, 1982, $7 million. Rocky, 1976, $23,000. Death Race 2000, 1975, $700. The Party at Kitty and Studs, 1970, $200.